Hello Prepper Nation, the bearded prepper here. I just wanted to send out a quick video showing you some of this year's corn crops. I'm on the edge of a very large field in the Midwest. And uh, I've talked to a lot of the locals this year about the size of the corn. Look at that next to my, just next to my hand. It's not a very, very big ear of corn. That one's slightly larger, but you know, these are oftentimes over 12 inches long. This corn is pretty much finished growing. It's just gonna start drying out now and um, then they're gonna harvest it. But you know, one thing that's been consistent out here as I've been talking to folks is a lack of fertilizer sometimes access to the fertilizer but also they're trying new things like um, more manure mixtures and things of that nature and you can definitely tell it when you're here that they're using a lot of manure in their fields to fertilize because um well the stench for one but uh, you know they, they're just doing what they can to try and grow the corn but they don't have access to the things that they used to have. And, um, you know, let me get a little bit deeper in because some people say it's just on the edge rows that you have the small ears, but if you look in here, those are the same size. Some of them even smaller. It's, um, it's kind of sad, really. You know, these farmers are working very hard and um, just trying to eke out a living, you know, this is not a low cost industry and it's what feeds our nation in the world. And um, they're just doing what they can to get by in this new era with, you know, less access to fertilizers and the resources they've become accustomed to farming with. So, you know, here, here we're on the precipice of a um, significant impact from Railroad workers strike, shutting down a big portion of our supply chain. We have everything going on over in Ukraine and that part of the world impacting world, world food supply. And now this. So, you know, also I'm, I'm putting this phone about eye, eye level for me. That corn should be feet taller than this. So, folks, you need to get prepared. Be ready in case there is a food shortage, in case our way of life changes drastically. Seek the wisdom of our Lord and Savior. Until next time, God bless. This is the Bearded Prepper signing off.